Good morning, afternoon, and or evening. This is Derek, Professor Silly Gaming, and I'm playing Fallout 4 on Survival because there was a next-gen update. Uh, it's not been smooth sailing. Playing on the Xbox Series X, and the Minutemen are broken. And we're getting some frame rate drops and some game glitches every once in a while. But it hasn't crashed. And we're here about 30, what, 31 episodes in? And we're just doing... We're doing every single quest, but we're doing them in whatever order makes the most sense at the time. And last time, the Brotherhood of Steel made their way because we uh, we took out Kellogg. Oh, speaking of which, I am carrying... I've got uh, armor on my legs that made me run 10% faster each, so I'm running 20% faster still. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep that, but... This is the Hangman's Alleys where I'm keeping all of the robots and droids. And I am almost certainly carrying a bunch if I don't need. Uh, so weirdly, Kellogg didn't have his pistol. Um, oh, I think this sniper rifle is supposed to be McCready's. Uh, so we'll, we'll give that back to McCready. Uh, let's see. I am carrying... Kellogg's outfit, which is, uh, of course, nowhere near as good as what I'm actually wearing. So we will put that away. No, no, no. We will put that away. Can't give her the silver shroud armor because that's quest stuff. Anything else I'm carrying? I definitely don't need this fusion cell. Okay, that lowers my weight a little bit. All right, hey, McCready. I think I took your sniper well, rifle from you. Savings Bank of McCready, open for business. Why is McCready looking like a zombie right now? That's weird. Uh, here, you take this. What are you? What are you were carrying? A whole lot of stuff. I didn't think you had. Let's see. Oh, that's fine. Um, yeah, I've given you some stuff to carry. Ooh, give me that, and give me that. I may want to, I may want to switch out my armor. I don't have an armor station here. Let's take a look at those real quick. 11-11 and 11-11, and these, so 10-10, and 10-10, so... A small drop in effectiveness. But now that I'm doing more melee, it's a small chance. Alright, those are those are also combat armor. Reinforced combat armor, yeah. Alright. We'll put the, we'll put them in here. I think I'll keep keep what I have. Cool. Anyway, um, we are sick, and we only have one dose of antibiotics. So before I do anything else, I probably should see a doctor. And. It's, uh, the doctor's not working right now. We should probably just go ahead and sleep till morning. And then decide what we're going to do this time around. I could go see the Brotherhood. That wouldn't be far. Pleasure to see you again, sir. Oh, hey, while I'm here, almost forgot. I got a, last time I got a bunch of bottles and then I put them away. There they are. Okay. It's not worthless crap. It's filtered water, jackass. Right. Um, so if we go up to the police station, we could uh, take a ride to the Pridwin. Uh, there's a doctor at the Pridwin. I could get my illness taken care of there. And we'd have to wait till morning. There you go. That's what we'll do. And then once we're there, uh, we'll have 
some stuff to do there as far as introducing ourselves to folks, and then uh, get our potentially our first mission, which is taking the the, the fort from the super mutants. That uh, might be a challenge. At least the first part of it, I'll be on a minigun in the Vertibird. And I'm not sure, I haven't tried, uh, since I got the second rank of Blitz, I haven't actually tried stabbing a Super Mutant yet. Although, there's no reason it shouldn't work. It was working pretty well against the Synths, and it should work better against the Super Mutants, frankly, because they can actually bleed. I'm using Pikmin's Blade, which causes bleeding damage, so it should work. It's a very different style than what I usually do when I go to, what is it, Fort Strong? That doesn't feel right. That doesn't seem right, because Strong's the name of the Super Mutant Companion. For some reason, Fort Fort Strong's what's popping in my brain, but that doesn't, that doesn't seem right. Who knows? We'll see. All right. We will have a lot more water now, so cool. Yeah, let's do that. Would you like me to go with you? Nope. Oh, and it's, we only have the one. So yeah, still running 20% faster. Which feels a little funny, but let's see if I can pull it back a little further. I know some people, especially when you're moving fast and looking around, some people have will get motion sickness in first person. My spouse is that way, so when I'm running across the map, I'll try to always stick myself in a third-person view just so that we can be a bit more inclusive. And then combat, I have to switch. I have to switch to first person for combat. Yeah, see, there are the frame rate drops. Could probably adjust the settings on the Series X. Uh, if I do this, will that tell me what mode I'm in? Uh, no. Probably a way to check it, but meh. I've been playing a lot of Starfield lately uh, for shits and giggles. And in that one, you can pop back twice. You have a first-person view, close-up view, and then further away view. And I like the further away view. Hey, buddy. Now that the Predwin's here, we can take the fight to the Institute. Oh, great. We'll stop Brother the Institute. For Maxon and for oh, I'm not talking to the right person. Oh, you're just a Brotherhood Knight. You're not even Paladin Dance. That's why. I thought it was weird that he was standing outside. I should have. I could have listened to the radio, but. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. Yeah, they did. All I want to know is when can I get up there? I felt the same way the first time I saw it too. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here, and that means we're going to war. Andrews, and normally I. I typically side with the Institute in most of my playthroughs, but going to be a quick war with that I don't thing know. On our side. Yeah, I'll say that thing must be packing troops and enough firepower to level Diamond City if it wanted. That's the plan. Now well, McCree's into it. Proven anything? It's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Okay. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. I am going to take a quick nap. Oh, they moved the... Oh, they got actual bed now. Cool, well, I'm going to take a quick nap because... While the game has not... We need to reinforce this compound. Has not... Frozen... For me... Yet, on this playthrough with the Series X, uh, riding the Vertibird is one of the ways in which I often would see a game crash. So, with that in mind, I am 
going to drop a quick save on the bed so that if it does crash, we don't have to do as much over again. You know those scents with the plastic faces? Mm -hmm. Creep me the heck out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, we're thirsty. I nice to be on the open road. Hot keyed the water, but it good neighbor was starting to wear out. It's welcome. Yeah? Sounds like you had a rough time of it back there. Rough? That's putting it mildly. Let's put it this way. Can't get much rest when you're sleeping with one eye open. Still, it was the best place for me to set up shop. Diamond City's goons would have run me out of town, and wandering the Commonwealth alone isn't the brightest plan when you're hard up for caps. Yeah. Um yeah. Caps aren't worth risking your life. Easy for you to say. But right now, I need every cap I can get. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope you aren't in trouble. No, not really. But uh, I don't usually go around sharing stuff like this, but you've been pretty straight with me, so I'm going to be straight with you. It's those two assholes. <clears throat> those two idiots you saw me talking to at the third rail. Winlock and Barnes. They've been hounding me for months, and it's been driving off clients. No one wants to touch me once they learn I used to run with the gunners. And I figured if I could get enough caps together, maybe I could buy them out. All right. I wouldn't trust those guys, even if you paid them off. Yeah. I don't think I've taken McCready all the way to... small army of gunners with them at all times. All the way to 100% loyalty. my head for good measure. If I set up a place to meet them, I'm sure they'd roll in with everyone they've got. Unless... Maybe you and I could pay them a little visit and put an end to them before they realize what's going on. Yeah, stab me, stab. get that look on your face, let me just say that I wouldn't even be asking if I didn't trust you. Uh, some people are shooting somewhere. If you need my help, I'm there. Wow. I don't know what to say. Truth is... We're missing a fight. to rely on anyone since I was a kid. We're missing a big fight. ...tried to rip me off or plant a knife in my back. But you... You're different. You hear that, right? You got eye on almost everything. Uh huh. I have a funny feeling you actually care about what happens to me. Uh huh. That's why I asked for your help. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna make this easy on you. You feel like helping me with this? Head over to the Mass Pike Interchange and we'll take them down. Okay. If you don't, I'm not going to hold it against you. Okay. Either way, thanks for hearing me out. I really want to see what's going on. Nice to know that you care. Okay. What's going on? Oh shit, okay. <laughs> that that the uh the robots are picking a fight with the Brotherhood. Is uh, not a complete surprise, but Damn. I was just starting to have fun. Just goes to show that the Rust Devils are not are no joke. Yikes! All right, water, and uh, let's do this. Oh man, I hate going <clears throat> up in these things. Hey, he's coming with. Excellent. Okay. We'll see if this, uh, if the game freezes or not. On the Series S, it, it definitely would. I had to play through this section uh, three or four times before it finally actually worked. Um, I think on the Iron Man, the Tony Stark playthrough, same thing. Throws up a couple times on this trip. Uh, it is definitely possible to get shot up here as well. Don't have vats. There's definitely some raiders in there, and throughout that whole section right there. Just oh, look at that! A little game hiccup. 
every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. I think that's the building that we put the with they had the super mutants. That we put the railroad thing up on. Ooh. Got grazed from those folks. There's Ironsides or whatever his name is. We're not shooting at that. We will do that. That quest, uh... We'll do that quest pretty soon. I've got to go back and turn in the railroad quest from a couple of episodes ago anyway. And that'll put us right in that vicinity. There's the ford over there. Play our cards right. We may have McCready and Dance with us on this one. Ooh. Unless the game forces me to have Dance as a companion up here, which it might, it might do. And then McCready will. If I don't tell him where where to go specifically, he'll go back to Sanctuary, because that's where he was at last time. I don't mind him going back there. There should be enough food and everything for him, beds and everything for him to not become super unhappy. But as far as whether I'm going to stay with the go with the Institute this time versus Brotherhood versus Railroad, obviously we're not going to side with the Minutemen. I don't know. May we'll we'll see. Maybe I will be able to have the Minutemen help me build the teleporter. If so, I'd prefer to I'd prefer to do that. All right. Permission to come aboard, sir. Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. Yeah. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Curious. What uh what all do I have marked? Let's put that one on and turn anything else off. Oh, I didn't discover any findings with Nick. Well, we'll do that at some point. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. All right, hi. Captain Kells. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. Yeah. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Uh, I was a, I was a soldier. Um, and what's a soldier supposed to look like? A soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine. Not a relic from the past playing catch up with the rest of the world. If wow. Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outside. Do you have matching like scars? Yourself, it's proven disastrous in the past. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. I think we got matching the Brotherhood scars. Of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Understood. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address, after which Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you are dismissed. Okay. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. All right. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired from lack of sleep. That's okay. I'm going to have a bed in here in just a moment, and we'll be fine. All right. Let's listen to Elder Maxon. 
Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the I could go and stand right next to him and it would still be this amazing feat still go through this thing but or direction and most impressively without question now that the ship is in position it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission beneath the commonwealth there is a cancer known as the institute a quite a bit of booze back here on these tables to be cut before it infects the surface they are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing drugs. for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth. Dun dun dun. A robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive. But horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly. And many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind Where did from go? its worst enemy. There he is. Itself. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Um, yeah. What they said. Liberating the Commonwealth is a huge responsibility. Uh huh. We'll get the job done. Yeah, you will. Got a lot of booze in this room. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I bet you do. If you say so. I can understand your indecisiveness. Turning your weapons on the very same people that you're trying to save can be a bitter pill to swallow. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Okay. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, Report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go straight back up. Or straight up to the other deck. And... Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on. Let's uh, make sure that... Yep, okay. So that's still Shadow of Steel. Excellent. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. Word travels fast. So how did it look out there? We've got a lot of work ahead Excuse of us, me, brother. Paladin Vance? There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Uh... Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician. A formidable warrior. And possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. Well, if you say I'd so. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. All right. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. Yeah, there's a chance that uh, this could result in the whole Pridrin coming down and you coming out just fine. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Pretty well Since know I've it. I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor. I'd recommend taking me along with you. Um, 
Nah. I'll go it alone for now and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. Okay. Yeah, we want to go to McCready. I think we're a little stealthier that way. All right, that is a uh, shadow of steel complete. Although we're not, we're not done. Because that uh, obviously would be a very short episode. So tour of duty. Uh, we're going to do all this as well. Um, and we're going to start with the doctor. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Absolutely. Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. Of First course. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to mm. radiation nope. for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Yeah. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Totally. Okay, second question. Yep. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? I know there was college. Honestly, I don't remember. Well... You don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you haven't. Third question, and please Up and answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Well, there was this one really there ugly we go. There we go. College. I mean, I had to get drunk, and it was a dare, and ugh. That hardly qualifies, so I'll just put no. Last question. These are jokes. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Nah. Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Oh, you just the psychotic answer. And that's, the I need. that's the one they like the best. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duty. Cool. Hey. If you ever need medical assistance. Hey, hey. No, no, hey. Captain. Looking for medical assistance? Yes, I, yes I've got insomnia. Yeah. Please and thank you. See what's wrong with me, Doctor. All right, soldier. You'll be fine. Just tell me what the trouble is. Insomnia. Hurting all over, Doc. Scrapes and bruises, but it's probably a good idea to get them fixed up. All done. Any other complaints? Nope. That was it. All right. You watch yourself out there, soldier. All right. I think we still have the suppressed immunity. No, nope, no. Nope. I think we have the suppressed immunity still because of the mysterious serum. But otherwise, the mysterious serum is still giving us plus five strength and damage resistance and everything. It still hasn't stopped, which is nuts. Uh, we are tired. Um, before we meet everybody else, let's... Whoops. Okay, let's go to first person so I stop kicking stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's me, Alec. Um, let's do that so that that show's complete and then we're tired, so we'll go six hours. And that should take care of our sleepiness. All right, Mysterious Serum is wore off, but we still have suppressed immunity and the game appears to be there, partly frozen. And now we're carrying too much. How much? Quite a bit. Seven pounds worth. Uh, we are carrying a lot of water. And beers. We don't need to be carrying the beers. If I drink a beer... Hold on. If I drink a beer... Will I still be over encumbered? No. All right, we're we're drinking some beers while we're meeting everybody in the military. <clears throat> Where's your cat? There's your cat. Hi, kitty. All right. Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. 
Uh huh. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Uh huh. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. Would be one of our However, radiant I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with quest requests givers. for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. There's this ongoing one, which will just Commonwealth. Keep your eyes open definitely get going, because we can get memos, this just turns manuals, into caps. Books, charts, anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, and that's the radiant I have part. Plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. We've only done that a couple of times, but uh, it's. They can be worth doing. Yeah. All right. Yes. The last person that disobeyed there. Captain Kells Try ended up now. scraping All right. Off the Gotta meet her. Hello. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Yeah. Uh, not what I was expecting. Got it. Nope. There it is. Sounds like you're Thanks, disappointed. Brother. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. That's weird. While you're at it, my car is making this weird grinding noise when I back it out of the driveway. <laughs> you're gonna have to take a number. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. I understand. Good. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. I don't know if I really There's want the power armor. There's a decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. All right, we are over encumbered again, so drink another beer. Joining our cause was the wisest hey. decision of your life, brother. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. All right. You must be in there for a reason. Maybe I'll keep my distance. I'm only having a bit of fun with you, Knight. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Perfect. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. Ew. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Good to know. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. That sounds good. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. Ooh, I don't and know about that. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo. You just let me know. Okay. And we put away all of our junk, so I don't think I have the stuff to make the silencer up here, because there's a weapons workbench there. How can a machine believe it's alive? All right, that is the tour of duty completed. 
Nope. Which brings us to show no mercy, which is the other part of what we're doing. This is my power armor if I want Unless to use you it. Like getting radiation sickness, I'd stay away from ferals. And while we're here, there's other people that we can meet as well. So let's head upstairs. And is it all the way up? No. I don't think it is. It's on this level. Never forget. You are the eyes and the ears of the Brotherhood. If you see there. or hear that should hold. Thank you, sister. You know, we wouldn't have to worry about them getting out if they weren't on the ship. Your concerns are noted, scribe. The human Give Dr. Ingram my thanks for letting me they borrow hide in plain you. Sight. Feel free right. to have a look at the specimens, but please don't touch anything. I refuse to be held responsible if you're injured. Quite a collection you've got here. Well, thank you. Most people don't appreciate the important work that I'm trying to do. Naraya also has I'm stuff that we can do. I'm discovering how these creatures' bodies have adapted to the radiation that's infiltrated their habitats. If I can crack the code, I can equip our troops with a protective compound far superior to Rad X. That's amazing. Well, it's only a theory so far. You see, the ionizing radiation left behind by the Great War kills because it damages most living things on a cellular level. However, after several generations, these creatures' bodies have adapted by altering their genetic makeup to prevent cellular disruption. I believe I've discovered how I can replicate that genetic restructuring rapidly. Instead of decades, I can do it in moments. For a short period of time, anyway. Excellent. <clears throat> I'm sold. If you're looking for someone to help, you can sign me up. I appreciate the offer, but unfortunately, I've hit a stumbling block. The specimens I've already captured can only produce so much blood and genetic material. Uh -huh. If I try and harvest too much, they'll die. What I need are more samples of blood from the creatures roaming the Commonwealth. Yes, that's that's what we can do. No problem. I'd be glad to help. I appreciate your confidence in my abilities, brother. I've modified your pit boy to scan the corpse of any freshly killed creature that has the proper type of blood in its body. Perfect. All you have to do is pick up any viable sample and bring it back to me. Hey. I really appreciate you doing this for me. Cool. It's cool, cool. Uh, I need to drink more beer before I hurt my legs any more than they already are. All right. So technical documents and blood samples. And then we are a little dehydrated and hungry, so we'll take care of at least one of those. Ooh, take that. And, yeah, let's grab an hour of shut-eye to drop a save, basically. All right, we're over covered again. Uh, by four. Okay, let's just, hey, What's up? rather than drinking beer after beer after beer, let's... Let's give him... All the beers. And... I am carrying a lot of stem packs. Where's my water? There it is. Yeah, let's give him, like... Seven waters? Yeah. That fixes us up. Alright, great. And he's outside. We're going to try this without the power armor. Now, granted, I could use, I could do blitz in the power armor. But, I don't know if I'd be as stealthy. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes, let's do it. Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. It is Fort Strong. Okay. it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. Ew. To make matters worse, 
They're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. Ah, uh, there is the radiation part of it. Over there. Wipe out everything that moves and secure that stockpile. Understood? Done. Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Not sure they know how to do them. Is one of my specialties. Yeah, yeah, McCree's on board. We have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Okay. Okay. Might be a challenge. There's two parts to this. There's the minigun in the vertebrate section. And then there is... Oh, we have to go to the other... Right. Come down here. Seems dangerous to have this down. Yeah, his lasers like hit, hit it. Okay. We got our section in the vertebrate, and then we have going into the fort itself. Ooh, game hiccup. We have a super behemoth as well as regular super mutants. But if we do this right, we can take them all out from here. Um, it won't fire. Uh, it's not firing. Um, yeah, I'm pulling the trigger and nothing is happening. There we go. Okay, good. I was concerning for a second there. Okay. Fire over his, over his head there. There we go. Ooh, I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage. Nope, nope. Okay. All right. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Once we sat down, I was a sitting duck. All right. Hey. Yeah. What? Let's give him the beer. And seven of the water. Is it? Okay. This is why we slept for an hour before starting this. We're gonna try it one more time without the armor. 
And if it proves to be not doable, then obviously we can always do it again with the armor. Okay, let's just get through this. Consider it done. Look, I'm huh? the brother. Now, right. Use it to this. Okay. I was wearing power armor. I could just hop down, but it's fine. Um, okay. Why is it still saying I need to be up there? Did I take the wrong one down? Doesn't seem right. Maybe. I hate going up in these things. Welcome aboard, Knight. Oh, weird. Okay. And we're clear for release. All right, that's weird. Let's have me do a completely different uh, vertebrate. Ooh, some game game hiccups. If I can take down the smaller super units before I take down the behemoth, then that would be in some ways easier. But if I otherwise, once we land, I gotta jump out and find cover and get hidden. Alright, we got we got the ability to fire immediately, so that's good. Smaller one. I can. It'd be easier if they were hi being highlighted. There's another one there. Okay, that one's down. Yeah, I can't delay too much on the behemoth because he will bring this vertebrae down. That's sad. Take you out. I have to hit my propeller. All right, any more? I don't think we're being shot at right now. Alright. I think we're good. Still gonna jump out and get cover. Immediately. Alright, yeah, we're we're hidden. No, nope, there's super units over there. Oh, there's super units over there. Okay, they were definitely not alone. Back this way. Oh. 
Yep. Get myself hidden. Okay, he's over there. Let's see if I can get over myself to McCready first. I'd rather get him up. Oh shit, you're right there. Oh shit! Self hidden. Took a couple of knocks there, but not bad. Not bad. Ooh, you're coming this way. Ooh, and there's a legendary. Okay. Somewhere. <laughs> I shouldn't take so much delight in that, but I can't help it. It's so satisfying. I'd rather heal McCready. Ooh, you're coming close. 14 yards. You're moving away. Nice. Take that. And uh, agility and perception. That might be worth... That might be worth... I don't know. We'll take it. All that, right? Oh, I'm going to have to give it to you anyway. Because um, it's weighing me down. Why did you go down with right next to the radiation barrel, buddy? Well, I want to give you this armor because it's weighing me down. There we go. All right, let's move. Definitely want to check out the behemoth body as well. There he is. There he is. We cut down a few next to him. Uh, let's see. 44 caliber. I'm pretty sure that's one of the guns I use, right? No, 45. Meat though. Bull barrel powerful 44 pistol, but I'm a I'm a I'm a rifle user, not a pistol user, so no. We won't take it. Yeah, I figured there's another one here. Alright, noodle cup. All right, let's do it. I don't think there's any beds in here, so we're kind of we're rolling the dice a little bit. If you want to root through this mess? Go right ahead. Ooh, another legendary. More meat. Huh? 
What's that? I hear something. It was nothing. No, it's going that way. That's McCready. <laughs> okay, where's that legendary? Run, run! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even have a chance there. All right. All right, we, uh. Hey. Yeah, what is it? We made it further that time. And much like the last time, I'm going to edit down to the first fail to and then us actually succeeding uh, which means this is our third third try last time I cleared everybody out from the outside and then there was another legendary inside that took me out he mutated and then I wasn't able to do any damage to him I think as he was mutating or whatever, so... Let's see how stealthy we can be inside the power armor. Time to kick some ass. Alright, Dances Lance likes that. They weren't always like that. Super mutants were regular people like... We only have the one fusion core, and we're going to be using a lot of vats, so we're going to eat through the fusion core pretty quickly. Me. That said, I'm gonna continue. Use, I'm gonna continue use the blade because it's enjoyable. Okay, we're gonna flip through this conversation pretty quick. You familiarize yourself with the Pridwins. Yes, Elder. Good. Uh, Let's get right. Take a look. Uh, That's. Uh, uh, consider it done. Look. Now, dismiss. All right. And we're getting on this one instead of having to fly down and get on one down there. That's good. Okay. So, same strategy we used on the second run, This on this third run. I'll try to take as many of the sewer mutants out before we take the behemoths out. Ooh, game hiccup. Not that it's going to matter. Even if, even if we take out all the super mutants that are there, there still be others that will spawn as soon as we're done. But... Be nice to be able to get into cover and hidden so we can take out the three or so that are going to show up one by one. Check that one out. I don't see any other super mutants offhand. All right, Behemoth is down. Just look for the muzzle fire. I'd rather you didn't. All right.
Looking for muzzle flashes. Don't see any. Let's... Okay, we're in danger. Let's... Okay, we're in caution already. That's good. Okay, we're gonna come down here. All right, Dance is down, or McCready. McCready's down. That's okay. We're already. We're already in caution. Perfect. Got most of our health. Let's just angle myself around. Okay, he's over there. And those two did not see me. That is perfect. Bet you can. We will use the legendary on him. Or the uh, critical. Alright, what is that? It's different than what he had last time. Charisma and intelligence. Okay. And a frag grenade? We'll take a frag grenade. Yeah. All right. That went about this about as well as it did last time. There was more to take down because we didn't shoot as many before the vertebrates set us down. But again, no beds out here. Just got to go in and try not to mess up. Wait, are we sure about that? Is, is there, are we sure there's not? I have to remember there being something over here, but I might be thinking of a different location entirely. All right. None the wiser. Okay, there's the legendary that took me out last time. It's a legendary butcher, no less. And 
he's not alone. There's another one in there as well. Let's heal. What's that? We may need to we may need to drug up. Where'd you go? Huh? Gotta fight. All right, now these now these mutated. If we can get another sneak attack on him, I can get him. Getting hit again. Ooh, but we're gonna be hidden in just a moment. This is no game, human. We win. <laughs> Go ahead and hide, little bleeder. <laughs> it's weird that I'm doing this in suit and power armor, but no. We've used about almost half of our fusion core already, but worth it. Yep. Just the legendary left. Ah, face me, you coward. Nope. <laughs> I got a crit again. Yes. Legendary nothing. Agility and perception, but that's not as good as what I have. All right. Where's Dance? Or Dance? Where's uh, McCready? Sorry I keep calling you Dance, buddy. And again, I don't think there's any beds in here. So we can't drop like a quick save anywhere. Which is unfortunate because that would be super handy. For my peace of mind. Nice. Yeah, even in here, there's alcohol. Another nice. covert manual. Frag grenades. We wore money. Of course, a mini nuke, but. Now, what would be most handy would be a mattress or a sleeping bag. I've got over 99 bobby pins. I could probably stand to sell some of these. Yeah. That said, downstairs there's only what? Three more? As well as a, a hound or two? Of course, in the zombie playthrough, I had a mod that allowed me to sleep on couches. Uh, but we're not really playing with mods this time around. One of the super mutes down here has a missile launcher. So. 
We are going to use our sniper rifle for at least some of this. This is a dead end back here. Yep. Don't make me poke through all this garbage. Okay, the first hound should be across the way. Could wrap my head around all this science stuff. They'll come up here. If they're smart enough, if they I mean they don't know where that came from, but really where could it have come from? You're here. You're here. Stop hiding. Oh, you're coming right up. Well, then I'm going to stab you. I am tired of this place. This one's back there. There's two of them back there, and one of them's got a missile launcher. But for food or sport, both. <laughs> yes, brother. Both. I might be able to. No, it's zero, zero. If I can get down there, it's a dangerous game I'm about to play. If I can get down here. Yeah, yeah, that shot killed it. All right, well, good. If I can get close enough. Another mutant hound. Missile launcher. Shit. Good fight, human. You'll die well. Only if you figure out a way to get down here. Pretty soon. Now he's just starting to have fun. All right, how do we get back out of here now? Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did I trap myself I'm down here? With this junk. I have no idea what any of it does. Uh-oh. No, this has got to be a way out, right? Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> I had a slight moment of panic, panic there. I should have checked the body before I came back up. I don't have anything anyway. Yeah, this would have been this would have been. I think especially I'm not I'm not really picking up any any uh, radiation on my Geiger counter. Now we didn't take that much damage. About twenty percent damage from the missiles. I was, I'm, one, I thought, that I miscounted. I thought there was one less than there was. Two, I was really hoping that he wouldn't fire the missile launcher when I was right next to him because, well, technically that 
slash damage could take him out as well, but that didn't stop him. Hi. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Look at this place. Yeah. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. I like surviving, as if that's a thing. Uh, um, yes. Absolutely. Wiping them out. Was I'm not even gonna try to do the. all of mankind shared your sentiment. Charisma check. So kill them all before they kill you first. Yeah, I can get behind that. These monstrosities. All right, McCree's in. McCree's down. Example of man Straight. blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. Womp, womp. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? I don't know. Can you imagine? Getting repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. Nope. I just want you to understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's right. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. Heck yeah. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Max. Okay. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Yeah, well. Dismissed. All right. Well, that's this way. The uh, power armor definitely saved my butt. If I hadn't had the power armor on... That last super mutant, last two super mutants, because there was the one with the missile launcher, and then another one. So there was four down that hallway. Um, yeah, if it wasn't for the power armor, we would have been screwed. Now, unfortunately, we have to walk back. Should be safe, ish. We'll use vats. Ooh, hiccup. We'll use vats along the way. There might be some mire lurks between us and there. One thing I've been I've been nervous to check, and I'm definitely not going to do on survival, is that uh, the question: Can you drown in power armor? If I were to walk along the the bottom. If I had to walk through the water, would I drown? And I don't know. I generally have only done that when I've had Aqua Lad anyway. And like I said, I'm not going to try it on survival because I'd lose all of that progress. There might be mire lurks along here. Just in case. I'm going to keep hitting vats. You got a settler. Oh, this is Nordhagen Beach. All right. Uh, let's double check my map real quick. Make sure I'm not going way out of my way. No, nope. this is right. Well, that means that uh, there's a lot of raiders up here. We're gonna want to hug the. We're gonna want to hug the beach on this side and stay away from all those buildings. Ooh, and it's getting a little bit hiccupy. Because there's a lot of raiders. Yeah, we're hearing them. We got some tough competition out here today. Yeah, pretty sure they're not going to see me as long as I stay over here. It's a great 
Right night out at the track. My zombie playthrough, that area was very tough. We're already moving away from them now. That's good. And now we're basically here. So from here on out, we should be safe. Good to go. Put the knife away. They're smoothing out a little bit. That's good. Of course, there's where we can build. By Elder Maxon's orders, all forms of technology should be confiscated or collected. We used three quarters of our fusion core. Remember your three C. But center mass. That's when you're using that much vats. It's kind of how it works. All right, only three, only three tries. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh no, McCready. Did he fall? If I come down there, is he still gonna be down here? I could have jumped off. was a really bad idea. Excuse yeah. Me. Can I get to him without him despawning and beginning to run back? Where is he? Maybe it'd be better if we moved out of the radiation. Well, yeah. Get out of the water, buddy. Oh boy. Just trying to get hit by the firing squad over here. Yeah, I can't go through there. And now we've used a little bit more than three quarters of our fusion core. All right, let's wait for him. Could check these ammo stats. There he is. I could check those ammo st ammo crates while I'm here, but meh. All right. Nope, he did it again. All right. Well, maybe we'll travel with Dance for a bit. Well, he, when you get out the wrong side of the vertebrate, yeah, he's going back to Sanctuary. All right, I'm going to get out of this armor and I'm going to drop a save before I speak with Dance. Great thing about being with the Brotherhood now is that we're going to get some Vertibird. Um, Vertibird grenades. Right, how much? Why am I, am I? How much am I over encumbered? Not by much, but enough. Do I have any beer? I think I gave all of my beer and alcohol to McCready. Indeed, that's exactly what I did. 
Okay, well, let's try to get to this desk over here. And we'll sell whatever we need to sell to if dumb and ugly had a child, lighten our load. What brings you to me today? Let me see what you have. Got some choice weapons that just came in. Alright, I kinda wanna keep the Just get rid of all of that. Kinda wanna keep the Charisma and Intelligence arm. Uh, it's a left arm. I'm currently using the champion left arm, which is strength and endurance, so... No. Yeah, we'll sell that, too. And that takes care of that. Excellent. Little cup. Still hungry, but we'll grab grab a nap. A little nappy nap. Okay. We're tired. Alright, well let's just get a full full amount of sleep then. go. All right, and uh, outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. Hey, you're welcome. What happens at Fort Strong now? Paladin Dance is supervising the transfer of the Fat Man warheads to the Prudwin. They'll provide quite an edge to our arsenal. I've also ordered a detachment to occupy the location. And use it as a staging oh. area to protect the eastern side of the airport. All in all, you handed us quite a valuable location. You're welcome. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. Only in order to bring the Institute begun. to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades. Excellent. Call a vertebrate to your location. And I can use... Oh, now I'm all recovered again. God Simply damn it. throw one to the ground. And the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. We can use that your board, to use the map on your pit boy to interface get back with to sanctuary. Navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. And we can get McCready. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong is simply the first step towards the And that is a level up. An even greater task lies ahead. By now. I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, uh -huh. the reading indicated a level of technology <coughs> Ow. that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, yeah. our mission became clear. That's dumb. The Institute and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. Okay. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth. Yeah. But they've come up empty handed. Cool. I'd very much um, like Anything you need, to Elder. finish this conversation so that I can. I want you to get out there and become our Take care of this over encumberedness. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met. So I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. Uh huh. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Nope. Ow. Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Thank you. Okay. Only by a couple. Um. Question. Do you mind if I take... Whole plating integrity looks whiskey? Good. No need for adjustments. Pinging remote units at 30 second intervals as requested. At least... For the moment. Um... There we go. All right, let's quickly take a look at our quest so we can see what we're going to do next time. All right, that's McCready's loyalty mission.
Quartermasterly, if we go up to Sanctuary, that's right up there. That is DLC. That's back at Diamond City, which we just need to turn that in. So that's not its own thing. We got to turn. We got to report back into Dr. Carrington. Let's just put both of those on because those are just finishing up things we've already technically done from previous episodes. Ooh. I'd like to do that sooner rather than later. And I think we're we're getting to the point to where we could we could do the silver shroud with uh with our blitzing ability. And then there's all of the creation content stuff. That is available. Let's just turn all of these on as well. God damn it. Nope. Ah. These are not things to do unto themselves. Oh, that'd be... Corvega would be a lot of fun with Pikmin's Blade. Okay, I don't know there's a better way to do this, but this is the way we're doing it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's turn on those. And time to just put it straight into luck again. Unless there's something here that's gonna make me do more damage. That, yeah. Well, that's just silenced weapons. That doesn't count for melee. And that's for automatic versus. This one, which is not automatic, which is the wep other weapons we're using. Eighty percent more money. So next one is where I can take their head off. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna put it in luck because uh, getting idiot savant, better criticals, and critical banker, and especially grim reaper, reaper sprint. All of these, all of these would be so much, so much, so useful for what we're doing. So let's just keep pushing our luck up. All right. Well, we might as well do our outro right here. Let's get good lighting. There we go. All right. So yeah, next time we're going to take a vertebird up to. Sanctuary, get McCready, and then we're going to just uh, do some. We'll do some miscellaneous tasks on the way down to Diamond City. Uh, we'll check in with Valentine. We'll check in with the railroad and see what, what kind of trouble we can get into along the way. We'll, one of the actual quests, we'll do one of the quests. I'm not sure which one yet, but we'll do one of them and uh, keep it going. So now we've got. We're working with everybody. Well, no, we're working with. Just two, the Railroad and the Brotherhood. We're not working with the Minutemen, because because uh, Preston's broken, and we're not missing. We're not working with the Institute yet, because we haven't gotten in there. But that will happen soon. Uh, in fact, reunions. We're, we're going to be needing to go to Good Neighbor and learning about the Glowing Seed. That will do that whole thing as next time as well. So, yeah, we've got it. We've got some stuff to get through. In the meantime, you have a great rest of your whatever, and I will uh, see you next time. Ta-ta!